Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this uh, series for the AWS CDK Cloud Development Kit, we will see today how to create a EC2 instance, load balancer, SSL certificate integration, Route 53 DNS entry mapping, okay? And you know, lots of things. We will see in the infra CDK code and then we will see how to deploy it, okay? And we will then actually verify in the AWS console it's properly created or not okay so in the last session we have seen this entire real-time uh, requirements we have created through the AWS console okay but this to in, in this video we will see completely through the CDK as a infrastructure as a code but as I said earlier you know the organization is demanding the automation way so that th that the, that the concept we will see today the all the requirements you know Creating the two issue issue two instance installation the you know nginx web server by using user data script. We then we will create load balancer with the SSL certificate port forwarding from HTTP to HTTPS. So if someone type website URL without the HTTPS, so it will redirect uh, redirect to HTTPS. Okay, automatically. Then we will create target group and we will attach instance to the target group. Okay. And that target group will use by application load balancer. Okay. And as you can see the architecture diagram, <clears throat> we, we have already discussed in the last video. Okay. If you have not gone through the CDK playlist, please check out. So you will get lots of you know, useful information. How, what is the CDK or how to initialize the project? Okay. And how to configure it in our local machine so you can just have a practice on that okay so let's get started so here i have written all the required imports okay then this is my the stack name web app stack okay so it will create in the cloud formation aws account so here i have two example one this one i have used my existing vpc which i have already created with the two public subnets okay for the demo purpose if you want to create for the demo or in the real time cases if you want to create new vpc here okay with the required you know cidr cidr range then you can just uncomment this code okay and you can comment this one and you can uncomment this one okay so you can just create your new vpc in your aws accounts and you can use okay i have created two uh, availability zone here because i want to create two is two instance in the different availability zone okay that's the reason i have added here max to availability zone okay so <coughs> sorry i have defined public uh, subnet here i need public subnet for the web server okay so this way you can choose either existing vpc or you can create new vpc okay then coming to the below i have defined here the security group i have added the security group name here okay then outbound i have open the outbound traffic true okay that means it will allow by default then i have added you know the ssh port here as an inbound rule then http port 80 then 443 for the https okay also i have added the custom inbound rule for the particular ip address just to show the demo okay so how you can define the security group inbound rules here through the cdk code next i have defined the root volume size we can customize the root volume size if you want 15 GB, 20 GB or 100 GB, okay, we can define here, okay. Then coming down, I have defined the EC2 instance CDK code here. As you can see, you know, I have <coughs> configured the variable, you know, for the root volume here. I have given the instance name, web server POC1 for the instance 1, okay. I have attached the key pair, which, which is already created in the AWS account, okay. And here I have defined the instance size t2 okay so this way you can define instance type and instance image machine image basically i want to inst you know use the li amazon linux so i have just defined here then the same configuration i have did for the second web server okay you can see then i have in created the user data script here for both server okay i just Install, you know, you have just done the YAM updates, install Nginx, then starting the service and just I have write down the simple web code, you know, web server one. 
सेम कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर सेकंड सर्वर ओके आई हैव यूज दैट यूज डेटा स्क्रिप्ट दिस वे ओके सो दिस वे यू कैन एड यूज डेटा स्क्रिप्ट फॉर मल्टीपल सर्वर ओके सो आई हैव यूज हेयर बोथ इंस्टेंस वन एंड इंस्टेंस टू इफ यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन यू कैन जस्ट स्क्रॉल अप एंड यू कैन जस्ट फाइन फाइंड आउट हेयर ओके वेरिएबल एज ए वेरिएबल आई हैव यूज हेयर so this code is for the creating the application load balancer you can see the you know the way of how how we can define the load balancer i have given the load balancer name web app hyphen alb okay i use security group for the load balancer okay internet facing yes i need internet facing not the private one okay and i have defined the vpc subnet here when we normally create the application load balancer in the aws console graphical way you might aware of the you know you, we need to select the subnets there two subnets okay so the same way we, we can define through the cdk code coming down this code is you know for the creating the target group for the target group with the http listener okay then i have attached the this target group i have attached the instance to this to this target group okay as you can see instance 1 and instance 2 and the variable i use for the target group okay so this way you can define the how to attach instance to your target 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 group okay if you want to understand the entire flow for the better way you can just go through my earlier video which is you know we have created entire setup through the aws console so you can just have a better idea to understand this cdk code okay then i have created the https listener and i have imported the my certificate through the certificate arn okay from where you can find this certificate arn you can just log into the aws console go to the acm service certificate manager okay and from there you can find your certificate arn okay so i have added here the https listener here because i want to you know use secure website https then to map the dns entry in the route 53 okay so we need to define the hosted zone as i have already hosted zone created in the my aws account so i have just you can just get the hosted zone id here and you need to replace here okay and i have domain aws guruji.net so i have added here if you have anything like any domain you know example.com or something this so you can just replace here okay then i need one uh, record name dns entry like you know web dot aws guruji dot net so i have added the sub d <coughs> sorry dns entry here okay web web so it will then it will automatically map to the entry like web dot uh, sorry web dot aws guruji dot net okay and it will get the load balancer endpoint automatically by this way okay just remember this thing then i want to print the load balancer endpoint after the deployment of the cdk code okay so let's <clears throat> so let's before deployment let's guess go to the aws console and verify <clears throat> as of now we don't have any resources created so let's just first verify what what we have in the aws console then we can try to deploy this okay okay we are in the aws console now so let's verify the you know we can just open the ec2 instance vpc then route 53 okay and acm certificate manager okay i have one hosted zone here in the last session, last video i have explained you know i have created uh, purchase one domain name from the aws console so you can see the zone, zone name aws guruji.net which is do, uh, domain name basically and i have hosted zone you can see the find the hosted zone id okay so this way you can get the hosted zone id and hosted zone name and you can replace in your cdk code okay coming to the certificate manager acm service just once you enter in the acm service then just click on list certificates okay just click on the certificate id and just scroll down little bit you will get the 
certificate ARN here. Okay. If you have a multiple certificate and you want to use particular certificate, then you can just navigate to particular certificate ID and you can just copy the ARN and you can just replace into the CDK code. Okay. So this way you can just configure your CDK code properly. And now, as you can see, I have existing my VPC which has two subnet. If I just copy VPC ID here and navigate to subnet and just copy here, you can see I have two subnets A and B. Okay. And in the uh, EC2 dashboard, I don't have anything created as of now. I don't have any EC2 running. I don't have any load balancer. Okay. So let's get get CDK code and deploy it. Okay code just we need to run the command simple okay cdk deploy okay and just press enter so it will generate the change set in the cloud formation template and it will start for the deployment okay it will take little bit time to deploy the entire stuff the benefit of using the you know infrastructure as a code as you can see, you don't need to go AWS console, I mean, and create each services individually. Okay. You can just write down the CDK code here like this way. Okay. And you can deploy into the multiple AWS accounts. So you don't, you don't need to go individual AWS accounts and create every, everything in the manual way. Okay. As you can see, it will show the chain set in the plus icon, you know, it will create a EC2 instance, ARN, EC2 instance, web security group. Okay. And the further entries. Now he is asking, you know, do you wish to deploy the changes? Okay. We need to manually type yes or no. Okay. So now I will, I want to show you one thing. Suppose I don't want to put manually, you know, yes. So how you can use the uh, prompt here, but to accept the default, yes. So you can just add the parameter require, require approval equal to never okay so it, it means by default we are accepting it okay here as you can see the cloud it's you know generating creating the cloud formation change set okay and you can see the uh, process now the status and the services it's deploying okay creating instance role and you know changing the meta set load balancer okay and the status creating in progress and create complete so this way you can track the deployment status of the CDK code. Okay. It will take little bit time to deploy the CDK code, but definitely you will enjoy once you know, got the idea how to use CDK code. It's a similar, you know, Terraform. If you are already working with the Terraform and you might, you know, definitely aware of this kind of code and the process how we can deploy the our infra infrastructure resources okay as you can see we have successfully deployed the entire cdk code okay so you can see the output load balancer and endpoint okay dns entry so let's go to the aws console and verify it's successfully deployed or not okay Okay, we are in the AWS console now and let's just refresh this page so we can verify. As you can see, the instance running is 2. Okay, load balancer okay, is created and volume also created for the both EC2 instance. Okay, let's go to the individual and verify. You can see web server POC 1 and 2 is, is successfully created and with the running state. Okay, now verify, go to the load balancer and we can just verify. The required port forwarding ssl certificate integration and the target group okay and the instance has been registered or not okay as you can see the application load balancer has been successfully created with the web app alb name okay the status is active you can see the verify the dns entry name here in pen web app alb okay as it's already printed in the deployment prompt okay we can see the security group here, web server POC security group. This is already defined in the CDK code. Okay. 
then in the listener we have created two listener http and https in the for the http we have forwarded traffic to https here you can see the port 443 okay and the https has it's a certificate you can just click on verify certificate and you can we can see the details here okay adub dot star dot aws guruji dot net it's already integrated properly okay and if you define uh, say, uh, go to the target group here let's see verify instance has been registered or uh, registered or not okay just go to the target and we can see the both web server has been successfully registered in this target group okay and you can see the status healthy okay let's go to the uh, route 53 uh, hostel zone and let's see the entry has been created or not then we can verify in the browser okay just scroll down a little bit and just expand it as entry has been created okay so let's uh, you know, copy this entry and try to put in browser so let's verify it's working or not so as you can see the web server the one request goes to web server one and another is web server two two okay that is a you know, round robin method for the application load balancer so it will send the traffic one by one okay so this way we can uh, you know see the successfully created the resources by using cdk code and uh, you know don't worry for the cdk code i have already up uploaded the cdk code in my you know github repository you can just find the url i will put in the description box okay so don't worry so github.com slash namdev hyphen rathods okay so you will find the name web app so in that web app you will find the all the details okay also i have added the architecture diagram here okay if you go to the lib folder here you will see the see the code okay user data script and stack stack main stack code okay yeah so that's all for the today's video so we will see in the next session with the more you know helpful videos thank you